Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy NAVPI and welcome to my channel. See, I've been here for the past 20 days and I need to go guys. I need to go. I know you guys will miss me. If you're out there and you know you don't want me to go back to Ghana, please leave a comment in the comment section. I love Kenya. I don't want to go back. <laughs> Yo guys, so I just want to tell you some things you should know before coming to Kenya. And if you've been to Kenya, maybe things have really changed. So maybe these are the things you should learn before coming. All right, so let's just get into the video. Let's, let's finish quick. I need to go back home. I need to go back. When I come back, you guys are saying I didn't go to Mombasa. But when I come back home, when I come back home, yes, Kenya is my second. When I come back home, I'm going to go to Mombasa, Diani, and other places to explore. Maybe the central part will also do. So guys, let's just get into the video. These are the main things you should know when you're coming to Kenya for the first time. Or you've been here before, but things have really changed. I love Kenya. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you should know is when you arrive at the airport, you should try and get a SIM card. Why am I saying this? Because when you enter the country, you can't get a SIM card from an agent. They actually say people do money laundry and all that with different ID cards, so different countries ID card so they don't register SIM cards for a different nationality so you have to get it from the airport that's the main agent from the main office so you can actually get these are their networks the Safaricom, the Airtel and um, Telcom so you can actually get any of them but Safaricom was good I love the internet that's what I use so you try and get the internet or the SIM card from the airport secondly I will advise you to use Uber from the airport to your location or to your destination. Don't try taxi. Guys, it's not going to be ripped off. You're not going to be ripped off, but the charges will feel like you've been ripped off. Because just small kilometers, you're going to be charged extremely because it's airport taxi. So just try and download the Uber when you are in Kenya or before you get to Kenya. That's the second one. And third one, if you're a minimalist like me if you're on a budget and you enter the country please try and use Boda Boda most at times Boda Boda is a motorbike that takes you around they have Boda Boda for Uber so when you check your Uber you see Boda Boda which is extremely cheap than taxis and cars like Uber cars so that is it and thirdly use my tattoo Guys, you need to use my tattoo. In Ghana, my tattoo is draw draw. You can see my tattoo going up and down here. It's so much cheap, convenient, very fast, but it's very noisy. I love my tattoo. So noisy, guys. It's really noisy. My tattoos actually have some screens in it. They have CCTV cameras. I saw one in um, where did I see this? Kisumu. It had a CCTV camera. Oh my god, I loved it. So my tattoo life is also okay and it's so cheap. So apart from Boda Boda, you can use my tattoo when you are in Kenya. Yes, if you are a person or if you are a person from the West African countries, please take Pepe along. What did I say? Take Pepe. 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 Spicy. Take them along because they don't take Pepe. Kenyans don't like Pepe at all. So take your Pepe along. Because most of their foods are, most of their foods don't have pepper in it, you understand? So if you really like spicy foods, please take your pepper or take your spice along. And this is what I love about Kenya, guys. You should listen to this very carefully. You should always be ready to take in tea with anything you eat. Anything you eat, you should be ready to take tea. They have a lot of tea in Kenya. Look at this. Like I was on the tea farm. Just look at it. I was on the tea farm enjoying myself. Didn't know I'll be taking tea always. Guys, I didn't know until I started eating. And every day I'll be served with tea. Every day I'll be served with tea. And I loved it. Because. <laughs> How about it? Next is you should visit the Maasai market guys 
it's so beautiful look at how good i was looking in the maasai cloth uh, actually people were calling maasai maron maasai maron which means maasai warrior so i love it like you should go there go to the maasai market you can get this there customize anything you want to customize in the maasai market it's really beautiful maasai market is also the next thing you should try out in kenya all right so let's go to the next thing you should go to the giraffe center which i didn't do oh my god i'm leaving kenya without going to the giraffe center guys i'm so sorry but i will actually come back and visit the giraffe center it's actually so nice they say kiss the giraffe but don't go and kiss a giraffe guys don't go and kiss a giraffe <laughs> all right the next thing is you should go to the coastal areas it's actually beautiful there if you are from west africa you know how hot it's here so if you really want to relate to how heat how the heat is go to west uh, the coastal part of kenya and you love it especially um mbasa and diani you love it that place is really cold uh, hot and um, you can relate to it you can also go to kisubu you love it guys so these are the most important things you should know visiting kenya for the first time and okay guys let, without me forgetting please be careful on the street sorry guys please be careful on the streets whenever you are using cameras Whenever you are taking pictures, be very careful. Otherwise, you are going to be arrested. Because there are some parts of Kenya, which is uptown, where the uh, companies are, the banks, uh, the big, big uh, screen ports and all that. Don't take pictures there. Please, don't take pictures there. Don't use cameras there at all. Because you are going to be arrested and fine. So if you really love this episode, and if you think I didn't say anything, I didn't add anything, please, Leave it in the comment section, write it there for people to know when they are coming to Kenya for the first time. And if you really love this episode, please don't forget to share it to your family and your friends. Oh, it was lovely with you Kenyans. I'm going to come back and I love you Africa so to the world, you know, like I'm always going to come back to Kenya. Kenya is my home and I love you guys so much. Peace out! Kusawana, Otomalahika na mabawa yao. Oh my god, I can't even remember my words. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy N-A-V-V-I-E. I love Kenya! <laughs>